protein significantly and wean her off of anything that throws off her blood sugar and then use nutrients that support blood sugar, chromium, vanadium, the B complex. You may want to get her some alpha lipoic acid as well. All of those can help support blood sugar. And then work on the adrenal glands using number one, deep breathing techniques, slow, deep breathing, have her practice those, get that app that I always talk about, My Calm Beat or Bio Breathing if you have a smartphone that is. And then vitamin C uh, and zinc are also very important for the adrenal glands. And that ha- would be how I would be approaching this thing nutritionally. But you know what? This is kind of – and then also I should tell you fats are also important, essential fatty acids, uh, the ultimate EFAs. I have her do three of those three times a day, nine essential fatty acid capsules a day, three, three times a day. And then I'd like you to follow up with me because this is kind of an interesting one. For, this is, I'll make this into a little case study. If you don't mind, if you could send me an email with your phone number on there and you and I will work on this together and then we can make a case study and put you back on the air. Would that work, Judy? Judy? Very much. Thank you for everything, and thank you for being the beacon of hope for so thank many people you. out there. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, and I want to make this thing work for you, so please stay in touch, okay? Thank you. All right. God bless, Judy. That's an interesting case. I want to see how that one works out. Let's, uh, okay, let's move on to Canada. Welcome, Robert, to the bright side. What's up, Robert? Uh, I was wondering what makes my bottom number around 110 some days and other days is what, at 90. And it's only recently that uh, it's been occurring. Okay. Do you understand the difference between the numbers, the diastolic and the systolic yeah. and all that stuff? Okay. So what you're talking about with your, uh, uh, with your bottom number, that's the diastolic number, and the uh, top number is the systolic number. Uh, the bottom number, the lower, uh, the lower number is when the heart's relaxing, that, yeah. and the high, higher number is when the heart's pumping. So you have a higher uh, – when your heart is at rest for some reason or another, it's, uh, the pressure is a little bit higher than it should be. Uh, that could be I'm a couple of – What's that? I'm sure okay. Well, that's not that's not all that bad. But you want to if you want to uh, work on uh, the, the top recently, number. Has, go ahead. Recently, more with cold weather. Recently, more with cold weather than with hot weather. That might have something to do with the heart muscle. I'm not sure exactly what that. Be. Have you tried anything? Have you tried any supplements or anything? Well, I'm trying uh, minerals and uh, magnesium. And does magnesium's not helping you? No. Are you exercising so. at all? Are you doing any kind of exercise? I exercise quite a bit every day, yeah. Okay, so you're, the, the, two, the top number is usually where you have a problem. That's the number where the... It's about 150. Okay, so you've got high blood pressure in general. Yeah. You're, okay, well, that's a whole different story. Okay, so here's a couple of things for you. Number one, you want to think about the stress hormone cortisol, uh, lowering your cortisol levels, relaxing the heart. That might, have some, that might be beneficial for you. Uh, deep breathing techniques are always your best way to lower cortisol levels. Relaxing using uh, hot water is also another strategy, a hot bath or hot shower or a hot tub. That can have a nice uh, relaxing effect on, on lowering blood pressure. In terms of nutritional supplements, magnesium is probably the most significant, although niacin can help you too. You might want to try um, uh, time release niacin, or all the, really all the B complex. I, I take the niacin time release. And uh, do you notice a difference with that? No. What are you using for your B complex? Uh, just the multiple Bs. Get on a, uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's got a big dose of the B complex, especially thiamine, which can, can have a nice effect on the heart. Zinc can also be helpful. If you're not using zinc, you might want to use 50 milligrams a day of zinc as well. And then uh, essential fatty acids, especially the omega-3 essential fatty acids, have a nice relaxing effect on the blood pressure. If you have any digestive problems, that's going to cause a clogging of the, blo- of the, uh, of the circulatory system. Anytime stuff gets into the blood through the digestive system, that can cause an immune reaction and increase stickiness of the blood. So you might want to correct your um, correct any digestive problems if those are occurring. And also elevated insulin can also be a problem. In fact, elevated insulin is one of the main problems when it comes to hypertension, as most diabetics can tell you. So if you're eating uh, insulin spiking foods, sweet foods, sugary foods, bready foods, cereal, cereals, that kind of stuff, you may want to reduce those as well as start to use nutrients that help protect insulin, help stabilize insulin. Uh, chief among those would be things like chromium and vanadium, alpha lipoic acid, the amino acid taurine, 400 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid, maybe 100 to 200 milligrams of the amino acid taurine, uh, 500 to 1,000 milligrams of the amino acid arginine can also help you with blood sugar and insulin, and then choline, C-H-O-L-I-N-E, choline may be helpful. Uh, as far as the di- only one I'm not taking. You might want to throw that one in. And then as far as the digestive system goes, if you're not using digestive enzymes and if you're not using probiotics, you may want to consider those. Uh, And you also may want to think about intermittent fasting to help lower and stabilize insulin. What's your weight at? Where is your weight at, Robert? 160. And how tall are you? 
Beg your pardon? How tall? Five nine. Okay, so you're not belly fat or visceral no, fat? No, I don't kind? have any belly fat. Okay, and no diabetes issues in the family or anything like that. Not that that always matters, but that's usually well, indicated. I don't yeah. think so because. <laughs> Okay, well, that's still something, you know, it's just a good idea to make sure that, you're, uh, that your insulin and blood sugar are being controlled using the supplements and then using the intermittent fasting. The less we eat, the, less, uh, the, the more sensitive our insulin will be and the less your body will have to pump out insulin. And there's a significant relationship between what's called hyperinsulinemia and hypertension, high levels of insulin and high blood pressure and poor sugar control and high levels of insulin. So those might be factors that you might want to examine also. Uh, and then, uh, as I said, the deep breathing techniques and working with the adrenal glands. Do you ever notice that when you, when you bend down from, uh, and then stand up quickly or you stand up quickly out of a sitting position that you feel dizzy or anything like that? I, I have lots of energy. No, no. Did you hear I said when you do you feel yeah. dizzy after you move from a sitting position to a standing position or lying position to a standing position? No, no That's I don't a, have that. You don't notice that. Okay. So, uh, I feel I would fine, be, actually. Well, no, I'm not talking about feeling fine. I'm talking about when you move. But in any case, adrenal glands, blood sugar, and then the digestive system. But that's always that's what we talk about all the time, the three points of disease. And this is what, this is what, what it means to simplify all of our health conditions. Work backwards. The longest journey begins with a single step. Step number one, focus on the digestive system. After that, you want to always look, at, look to the blood sugar system and then the adrenal glands. All disease follows that triangle. Digestion, blood sugar, and the adrenal thyroid complex. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll be back at you next week with more good health information on the bright side. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. National experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo. A must-be-there event. Presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.